And folks, faith and and and, and I, I know how faith works. But I, and maybe you know she she probably on her journey, Rhonda, on her way there. She said, if I could just get him to lay hands on me, if I can just get him to pray a prayer. But as she got closer in her faith, you know, I was reading after Catherine Coleman and said a lot of folks on their way to the miracle crusade, on their way there, Jim, their faith growed and they were healed on their way there. And folks, it, it wasn't a Catherine Coleman, but it was the the man behind. Catherine Coleman. Folks, they're, they're healing in the name of Jesus. And it says that at the name of Jesus, every day shall bow of things in heaven and things in the earth. And folks, when we can touch him in faith, then there's virtue flows out of heaven. And I know the anointing. Hallelujah. Woo! I know the anointing is here. But, but it's touching him in faith. Hallelujah. The ten lepers in Luke. He says, they lift up their voice and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. And, and folks, you'll see me wave my hand. And, and, I, and, and Bob won't get his attention, you know. <laughs> but can you imagine they hollered, have mercy on us, have mercy on us. And it says, he comes, he says, what can I do for you? And they said that we might be cleansed. And he says, as you go. He says, go off for these things. And it says, and as they went, they were cleansed. Don't even say you prayed over. But, but can you imagine, it says, as they went, as they went, they were clean. And it says, one come back and gave him praise. And he says, were there not, not ten cleansed? Where's the nine? And it says, but this one comes and says, the, your faith has made you whole. I'm talking about an attitude of faith. And you know, when God does something, folks, sometimes it's a few months down the road before we even realize it. I mean, we'll, we'll have a sickness or an ailment or, or a need, and we don't even, don't even know it's been done. But we need to give him praise and honor and glory that we've got food in our house, we've got clothes on our back, that we've got somebody that loves, we've got people to love us, and then we've got people to love. I mean, uh, our friends and our family is all that's going to matter, folks. It says ten, ten lepers were cleansed, but only one came back, a Samaritan. You know, to, to some, and, and you know, in Bible days, it's the Jew and the Samaritans and, and a, a lot of different people. And also they had, they knew two or three languages. But you know, here we are, uh, different denominations. We ain't careful with those rocks at one another. But folks, if you, if you come, if you come by the way of the blood, if you come by the way of the cross, you're my brother and you're my sister. God bless you. Blind Bartimaeus said he was sent by the wayside. Man, I'm talking about an attitude of faith. He heard the crowd and asked, who's passing by? And they said, Jesus is passing by. And he began to cry out, Jesus, thou son of David. Jesus, thou son of David. And I, I can imagine him getting excited. And this was his miracle that was going to pass him by, Rhonda. But he, he said, if I can just get his attention. And no doubt he had heard that, that blind eyes had been opened. He would heard about legion having all them devils cast out and all the swine being cast to the sea. I mean, he would heard about the woman with the issue of blood. He would heard about Jairus' daughter. Being, I mean, he would heard all these miracles. And here his miracle was going to pass him by. <coughs> so he began to cry out. And folks, that's what you and I have got to cry out. He said, let your request be made known unto God. The crowd, the disciples, said, hold your peace. But it cried out more and more. See, there's always an obstacle that stands in your way. I, I believe so many times, Brother Jonathan, <coughs> we're just a few minutes away from our miracle being made. There's always a test of faith. <coughs> it says Abraham, his faith was tested. There's always a test. And even God may, you know, stand up there and say, are they really believing me? You know, we, we read a story of Peter being in prison and James being killed. And it says the church ceases to pray. In other words, they prayed all day and all night, all day and all night for Peter. And it says an angel comes and releases him. Then Peter's knocking on the door and Rhonda answers. And they said, Peter's outside? He can't be outside. He's in jail. So you know, a lot of times we're praying, but we're not believing. We think we are, and we're trying to, but there's just there's a fine line. I, I don't know how how big the, the line may be, 
But there's a fine line from believing God and really believing Him. And God knows the difference. And folks, faith, faith is believing God whether you feel like it or not. You know, there's many people that, that wants to be saved today. <coughs> You're waiting for some good feeling. The Bible says if you'll believe, then you will feel. We're wanting to feel it first, but, but we're, we're, it's backwards. He said if you'll believe, you can see. So we, <coughs> we must have an attitude of faith. Barbara said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And it said Barnabas threw off his garment and attitude of faith and stood before Jesus. And Jesus says, what can I do for you? You know, that's amazing that he would ask that. I mean, here he is, this little fellow is blind and probably didn't even have, you know, eyeballs. But he says, what can I do for you? And so here he is, he, he named his problem. He said, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus. Folks, when, when God does something, then there's a change. There's a change that takes 